What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be selling two things on the BRZ to make us heel toe like a pro. Let's get into it. Let me show you the main issues in these new GRs and BRZs. I can't speak about the older ones because I haven't had too much experience in it, but pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to assist this gas pedal a little bit just so that we can heel toe better. Like I've been struggling a bit to actually heel toe in this car and it's because of the positioning of the pedals. You really have to depress the brake to heel toe. On a track, this is ideal, but if you're like me, you want to heel toe across every corner you can get. <laughs> and uh, with this, it makes it a little difficult. You're probably looking at me like, hey, it looks pretty, pretty okay. Like, what, what's wrong with it? So, let's see if I can actually get a better view. If you can see the difference of where the brake and the gas pedal is, you can actually see that the gas pedal sits a lot further in. It's kind of hard to capture here, but if you look, my foot is absolutely flat, not pressing down on the gas and it hits here. So it's not a smooth transition between gas and brake. You have to kind of lift. Now when I want to heel toe, I really have to press the brakes down to heel toe properly. It's kind of hard to record and do it at the same time. So if the, the technique doesn't look the greatest, it's probably because of that. But this is one thing we're going to fix. And I'm going to show you guys how we fix these things. But check out all the merch at streetlegacy.ca. We got some only lope sweaters. It's that time of year. Pick up your sweaters. We got banners, merch, air fresheners, jet tags, and everything. If you want to support the channel and support the cause, every purchase makes a big difference. The link will be down below if you're interested. And if you do buy something, take a photo, tag us on Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below. This paper bag will solve all our issues. This is going to solve everything. A paper bag. No, I'm kidding. It's what's in the paper bag. So one thing we're gonna do here is the Cusco pedal. Um, as you guys can see, I'll take it out in a second. It's kind of angled down a little bit here, just making the transition between gas and brake a lot smoother without hitting the pedal. So this is gonna help us. It's an awesome part, Cusco. I'll link all the parts down below once again. And in the infamous paper bag, let's see, let's see this this is going no i'm just joking that's the pedal stopper you guys have probably guessed it by now this is the full throttle pedal spacer this is a 3d printed product you're probably wondering why did you go with a 3d printed product you try putting all amazing parts on your car but you're gonna go with this one of the main reasons is i've never really tested one of these and i kind of want to give this one a shot and if i do like this there's a different version that's a little more expensive and i believe it's billet aluminum that will solve the same issue and it installs the same way i know the whole do it once do right thing but if i can get an inexpensive mod that works I'll know to upgrade afterwards. And if I put this on, I'm like, ah, I really don't like it. It wasn't that big of a hit. So that is the main reason when with it. And uh, I'm interested to see how a 3D printed product will last. I guess this is kind of for scientific purposes. The science guy. So uh, let me show you everything that comes in the bag and uh, we'll get into the install. This is everything that comes in the bag. So this is your pedal stopper. And then we have the actual spacer itself. As you can see, there's grooves in here. The grooves are gonna allow you to basically have a bit of an adjustment with the pedal where it sits, and then just the hardware. And then the Cusco pedal should have some brackets behind you. Let me open it up and check it out. So pretty much what this is gonna be, you're gonna kind of put this down on the pedal behind and this is gonna be almost like a cushion. So it's gonna sit behind on the original pedal. We're gonna to have to remove the pedal completely to do this. It's just gonna make life a little easier. And these are just the brackets that pretty much hold the Cusco pedal onto the OEM one. So pretty simple stuff. Let's get to removing the gas pedal first and then we'll get into everything else. We are underneath the dash here. And pretty much what you're, we're gonna do is there's two 10 millimeter bolts holding this pedal. One at the top over there, if it wants to focus in, and then one down here. So I've, I've loosened them already. So you're gonna remove that clip and it's gonna remove the whole pedal. You're probably not gonna have this little white thing there. Pretty much that wire is from my sprint booster. So let's remove this and get to working on this pedal. I absolutely hate working underneath the dash there. It's probably my least favorite place. I'd rather be underneath the car. It's the most uncomfortable thing ever. I feel like a fat baby buffalo kind of stuck. Help me. Like it is not comfortable. I don't know how some of you guys do it all day. By looking side by side, you can already see the main differences between this. One, it is much, much larger. So it's gonna give us more surface area to basically heel toe and you know, a little more comfortable on the foot, I'm gonna assume. And two, if it wants to stay, we have this slight dip here. So what this dip's gonna do is when our foot slides 
from brake to gas, brake to gas, brake to gas, it's not gonna hit. It's gonna just slide over a little easier. It's definitely possible to hit, but it gives you a better chance of sliding your foot over just so you're a little quicker, especially if we're gonna track the car. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, winter stuff happening. We'll see how it goes. This is a double-sided adhesive. We're going to put that on here and then that's gonna help, I guess, stick this once this is on here with those little brackets. Here is some Japanese instructions, which I cannot read, which hopefully one day I will be able to read. But yeah, let's get into installing this. This product is designed for use in Japan only. I'm in Canada. Uh huh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Must not be used in any other country. Okay. I totally understand ev everything. Everything they said. Especially the part that was in English, because it's the only part I can read. First thing I'm gonna do is clean this off a bit just in case I have any chemicals or anything on here that is gonna prevent this from adhering or sticking. It's the same word, just fancier. And yeah, let me do that quick. I, I was never good at putting stickers on. This is not what I'm meant to do in life. I was never good at this, but yeah. I'm never very good at putting stickers on, so. This one's for you, Mom. We put it on, I'm just gonna continue to press down so we can hit heat properly. And uh, yeah, you can see how you know, it's kind of bulging out. See those little divots? That's from before. So yeah, let's put this on. I'm gonna press it down off camera so I might sweat a little bit and then uh, we'll be good. So pretty much what's gonna happen is these brackets are gonna sit behind the pedal here. This one and this one are gonna use these tiny little screws that I always tend to lose. Knock on wood to basically clamp this down. So let's do that. Then we're gonna basically install the pedal spacer afterwards and the stopper, and we'll go for a drive and see how much of a difference this really makes. After struggling for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, I was finally able to get it on. My biggest issue was I couldn't find my wrench, which I believe is, let me double check, it's a seven millimeter, yep. So it's a seven mil for the back. So this socket could not fit in this gap. So what I have to do is get a flathead, wedge her in and tighten her down. The bottom one was fine. We can put the seven uh, socket on the bottom side and just tighten it with the Allen key on the opposing side as you guys can see up there and over here But look how pretty and nice she is. God damn Look at that JDM goodness. All right, so this is finally done. I'm not gonna lie. This is a pain in the butt do this I'll take this out and then do this first if you're gonna do both modifications Don't install the pedal with the spacer then do this underneath there it would be absolute hell. So do this, and I actually really like how this looks. I can't wait to actually try it out. We're gonna go for an in-car drive after, but let's get into stalling of this bad boy. So this is gonna come with two bolts. As you see, what I did already is you're basically gonna slide into the grooves here, and they have these little designs here, or the little outlines of the actual bolt. So that's gonna give you adjustment with the pedal if you wanna go up and down. We're gonna figure out that afterwards. So pretty much you're gonna install this first, and then we're gonna have two nuts to basically use on this afterwards. So these existing holes are gonna go on the pedal location where they are in the car, then the actual pedal. Now, this guy will go on to... Doo -doo 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 -doo. The pedal's gonna go on top of here just like that. I just did some YouTube magic. Ooh, look at that. So then this is gonna give us adjustment of putting the pedal up and down. What we're gonna do before we install the pedal is take the factory pedal stop out. All you're gonna have to do is, let's see if I can... You're just gonna have to twist it off and there you go it's twisted off and it pops right out like that and we're gonna put the one provided 
with this. The main reason we're installing a different pedal stop is because we're extending the gas pedal out and that's pretty much going to compensate for this guy here. So all you have to do is twist it in. Don't go too hardcore on this. Like I said, it's a 3D printed product. You don't want to over tighten it and mess up all the threads. Uh, I'll be honest, these 3D printed stuff gets me a little worried, but this is why I'm here. I'm here to test things out for you guys. And I know other people have used it and they've liked it and it's a more affordable option. So I'm all down to test it out, then eventually probably switch out to the billet stuff. We've twisted that in. We're gonna put this back in and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, so we're gonna have to put this separately. I tried doing it with the pedal on, but I basically tested the height and everything. I'm gonna leave it at its highest setting because it measures correctly with the other two pedals there. So we're gonna put this on now and tighten her down and uh, then put the pedal on itself. One thing you should know is when you took out the pedal, you kind of feel how tight it is. When you're reinstalling this pedal spacer, be very careful because once again, it's a 3D printed product. Just tighten it snugly. You don't have to go too crazy where you actually might crack the product, I think. So I just kind of snugged it nicely. And just one more piece of advice, stretch your back out. Especially if you're getting old like me, stretch it out a little bit before you do something like this because uh, my back shirts. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. Spinal. So the pedal stopper is in. We're going to put the pedal in now. You have adjustments with the pedal stopper to bring the pedal up and down and a little bit left and right. So I brought it as close to the actual brake as I could just so I can move my foot a little quicker. I don't know how much difference it's going to be. I'm not a professional driver, but whatever. And then the height is going to be in line with the other guys. So let's see. So one thing to note, if you do want a speed booster, pedal commander, whatever else you want to call it, it will not work with the pedal spacer because where it pushes it out to, I don't know if you guys can see it up there, it just doesn't give me enough room to actually put it because of the, the sheer size of this. So, because usually this would go into the pedal and then your actual sensor from your interior harness or your pedal harness, whatever you want to call it, would go up here. So that's an issue. Um, so this is going to be a real, real, I was going to give you guys a real review, but this is going to be even realer because I got to decide if I want a pedal spacer or do I want a sprint booster? This is definitely more costly. These things are around like 300 bucks and the pedal spacer was pretty cheap. I don't remember what I paid for, but it was pretty cheap. So let's get strapped up. She's in. Honestly, it is so much easier to slide your foot like quite close to parallel. Like you angle just a tiny bit and you're there. But the heel towing is just so much easier. Like I'd be braking and then bam, braking and bam, braking and bam. Or you can go, you know, I'm not the greatest at this and you can just go boom, just kind of like that. But I do, you know, initial D style and just, it's just so much nicer. I'm not gonna lie, just being parallel like this is such a beautiful thing. Off the bat, this is super, super different. I'm definitely, definitely not used to the pedal being this close. I'm used to being receded in, obviously. It's, I've been driving for 5,000 kilometers, pretty much like that, so it's a little different. I'm definitely going to have to get used to this, but another big factor of my driving today right now is gonna be that I've been driving with a Sprint Booster since I think I got the car like very, very, I only had a few hundred kilometers into it. So I've been driving with the Sprint Booster ever since. So my heel towing is gonna be off, first of all, for the pedal position now. And I don't have the Sprint Booster. If you guys wanna know what a Sprint Booster does, I have a video all about it. Go check it out. Uh, but pretty much it basically helps with like your pedal delay when you're pressing the gas and everything. I'm gonna have to get used to this definitely. I'm not trying to make excuses off the bat. I'm gonna give you guys my real, real review on it because i'm either going to give up a 300 dollars sprint booster or i'm going to get a pedal spacer i'll use this you know 3d printed one for now but eventually i'd like to get a billet one just because you know it's probably going to last me a little longer but who knows imagine this this does the job and lasts me forever but the pedal being so close is already throwing me off a little bit it's different but it's not horrible like I don't really have to like put a lot of effort into touching it because it's just right there waiting for me. First heel toe. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, we're hitting a corner here. Ooh, that's a little too much. The transition between braking gas is so much nicer. That is nice. So I'm heel towing like, you know, initial D style, you know, twisting the ankle. I know you can roll your foot and do it too. I've never really done it like that. This makes it a little easier to do that too, just because the pedals are a little closer and in line. 
but I'm always nervous my foot's gonna fall off the, the brake, so I've always done it old school. Okay, let's see, let's see this again. Not bad, not bad. It's not, I'm not hitting any corners or driving super hard. This is just everyday driving. Okay, it's a little uh, different, definitely. <laughs> but it's definitely a great driver's mod so far. Like, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm already getting used to where the gas is. That, that's quite nice. We're heading on light. Ooh, did you hear those pops? That was pretty nice. But I still gotta get used to it. Seating position's a big thing too when you're heel towing and racing and stuff. And eventually I'll mess with my seating position and everything. But right now, like, I'm not, I'm not hating it, which is nice. Second gear brake. Not too bad, not too bad, you know? That's not too bad, getting a little better. Really, really enjoying accelerating with the pedal. I don't know why, just the position suits me a lot better, my driving style. It just, I like the way my foot's sitting, it's a little more comfortable, and it's quite nice. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. We're gonna get a fourth and third, let's see. Not bad, not bad, second. Not horrible. Nice, nice. A little bit of a Tokyo drift. sitting perfectly this is how shit came from factory subaru toyota super the one that builds them if you guys are listening hey just extend the pedal about an inch i know there's reasons for you know there's probably a reason why they're sitting 
you know, lower than the brake like it is, but this is an enthusiast car. We want to drive aggressive and uh, we want to brake aggressive. And God damn. I honestly would highly, highly, highly recommend these two products. Super inexpensive and actually makes a great difference, especially with your driving experience. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I probably had half an hour on the road and I'm already getting used to it. I can't wait to put these skills and these assets to the test at the track. So happy with everything. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys want to see more driver oriented mods? We definitely have more track mods. And uh, if you guys want to go grab some merch, once again, streetlegacy.ca. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it once. Do it right. And later. I get any All right, can I get a number eight? Uh, plum sauce and uh, Coke Zero. Yeah, then is the Dave single? Is that a combo at $4 or just a burger? Just a burger. Okay, uh, can I get a. Uh, I'll get the Dave single combo. Uh, Coke Zero. And I'll get a Junior Chicken. That's right. And I'll, I, and I'll get a, uh, a grilled chicken wrap. Okay. Okay. I installed the pedal spacer. It's sick. This? 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 I turned off the red sometimes when I'm camping. I really tried. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god.